please welcome to our show, Demetrius Ship Jr. Start at the bottom and bring it up. Put your feet on those feet. Okay, cool. And model your shoes. You'll see shoe cam. Oh, there we see, go. Yep, you can turn them around. Yeah. You smell lovely. Oh, uh, thank you. I what, did that for you. Thank you. And your <laughs> teeth are so white. Oh, uh, I'm working on it. And you're very puckish. <laughs> I guess so. God, when did you realize that you first looked like Tupac? Well, I first started getting the comparisons, uh, like, back in high school. Kids would call me, like, Tupac. That was, my, that was my nickname. Did you purposely get your nose pierced? Like, once you got the comparison, did you kind of ride that train? Nah, nah, it wasn't like that. This was all in, you know, for the movie. I oh. got that, went through that, that pain. It was you got your tough. Nose <laughs> I cried, the tears were just flowing. <laughs> nah, not like that. <laughs> it, just, it just like, for some reason, once they pierce it, like, it automatically just makes your eyes start watering. It yeah. was crazy. So, wait, so you used to be the cable guy? Yeah, I was at Dish Network climbing under, uh, under people's houses and on top of their roofs. <laughs> like, if you rang my doorbell, I would slam it in your face, like, oh no, Tupac is still. I thought, oh, no, I'm nervous. Yeah. Would people do the comparison? You're going to people's houses, you're the cable guy, but. Yes, it, it happened a couple of times. I took a couple of pictures at people's houses, which is a little weird, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's hey, weird. before you go, you know, can you take a picture real quick? I'm like, what? <laughs> so you have no act, acting experience, yeah. you know, prior to this movie. So it's my assumption that the reason that Demetrius got this role is because he looked solely because he looks like Tupac. And you never know, you know, what path you need to take to get to something as great as this. Right, right. So. How did you actually get the part? How many auditions? Did everybody else look like Tupac? Well, believe it or not, I beat out something north of 4,000 people for this role. <laughs> yeah. So, um, back in 2011, my good friend, you know, he, said, he told me to audition because there was this national calling. He suggested I do it. I wasn't going to, and he's like, you got to. So. I put the audition tape up, waited till the last day, 30 minutes before it was due, no mm -hmm. pressure. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and then uh, my father seen it once I put it on Facebook. Now the, the cool story there is my father produced for Tupac. He produced uh, Toss oh, It Up. Oh, you got an inside track. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, please. <laughs> that was, that's only, looking like him and having that was only a part of it, but I had to get the acting down, you know what I'm saying? I understand. So, um, but he forwarded the, the video to LT Hutton, who was the producer and the creator of this movie. And um, from then on, the ball got rolling. So now you're in. I mean, Snoop is probably in your phone right now. <laughs> I, I, you know, Snoop reached out to you, I heard. Yeah, well, I actually seen the movie with Snoop, uh, uh, a version of this, the movie like a year ago. Yeah, with him. Yeah, because we've been talking about this movie for a very long time on Hot Topics. Yeah. This movie is a long time in the making. Right, yeah, like for me, 2011, it's been six years. Yeah, oh, shit. and all those, those, yeah, it wasn't easy <laughs> at all. It wasn't just like, oh, you look like him. Your, your dad knows the producer, you got it. No yeah. way, no how. <laughs> it, it's kind of perfect too. You know, Father's Day weekend is coming up and you know, the movie opens this weekend. That's a perfect father-son thing to go see. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, so that scene that we played was you and Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm -hmm. Or Tupac, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Tupac and Jada Pinkett uh, Smith. Um, and we, we learn a lot more about their relationship. Were they romantically involved? Um, they've never said that publicly or anywhere. You can't see them saying, you know, that they were uh, romantic, you know. They just said that they had a great friendship that started from childhood, you know. Mm -hmm. They were like best friends, real friends at, you know, like high school at the Baltimore School of Arts and they did a lot of stuff together. There's silly rap videos and dance wow. videos of them together, you know just as friends, so yeah. we don't romanticize on them being any more than what they said they were. Well, let's romanticize on you then. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your situation? Uh, you know. I mean, what are you, like uh, 28, 31? You, you got it great, 28 exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah good job. <laughs>
And now you're in a movie that I'm sure will be number one in the box office. You watch what happens. Ooh, ooh, you watch. I'm hoping for that. You for watch. Real. Um, so you're getting more attention from women, I would imagine, than ever. Yeah. Do you have a <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend now? No, nah, I'm single right now. <laughs> That's the way to be. That's the way to be. Because you want do you want to do more acting or is oh, this certainly. a fluke? No, nah, no, nah, this ain't no fluke at all. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I love the industry, I love the art. Um, I developed a real passion for it, and this is something that I, you know, plan to carry on as a career for, you know, however many years. So if you could get with a celebrity, because now you're in the world, like you've crossed beyond the velvet rope. And wait, <laughs> wait until Monday morning when the box office numbers come out. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're in there like swimwear. <laughs> now, so, um, Who's your big crush? Who's the first person that you're gonna oh, have your publicist man. get in contact with? Well, if we, go, if we gonna be honest about like my publicist and who I had her tell I had a crush on, don't, don't hit me on this one. I'm not. Regina Hall. That was, that was, <laughs> She's an older woman. She is. But I've always had a thing for Regina, you know what I'm saying? And so I had my publicist tell her like, look, you know he. <laughs> so she knows already. She know a little something. Well, you know what, here's the thing. Regina is, um, you know, a bit older, seasoned. You know, she's a friend to our show. Yeah, but, but you're seasoned also. At 28 years old, you got three kids. I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's a certain amount of responsibility. You're not just a, a, a dippy 28-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how many babies, moms? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I'm just asking. <laughs> Two. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> And there, and <laughs> do you do drive-bys? <laughs> no, no. Okay. No, you got everything sorted out. Oh yeah, listen. Me and my, my kids, moms, we have a great relationship. I, you know, thank them because they look out for me. They hold it down while I'm going on the road, yeah. trying to work and make a life for my children. You know what I'm saying? Mature. So Regina. But that wasn't the only crush. Uh, it was okay. I was gonna say so. Regina's it. Okay, who else? Now let me tell you. Okay. I was at BET last year and I was doing an interview, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I was talking and I just looked up and I seen Karuchi. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Now listen. First of all, she's busy with her new show, Claws, which I love. I can't wait to watch it. Second of all, the Forbes list, list of richest celebrities, richest, not just rap people or actors, the richest. Uh -huh. Puffy is number one. List just came out today. So she's not, you know, you need a few more box offices um, <laughs> for that. Karuchi? <laughs> yes! That's Puffy's girl. Who? Karuchi! I didn't know that. I thought he, I thought he had Cassie. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. That You're was Chris Brown's girl. Yeah. You're right. That was. You do follow Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, you know what? She's available. She's not with Chris Brown anymore. Yeah. Karuchi, holla at your boy. <laughs> Monday's about to change his life. I like you. Yeah, thank you. I wish you well. Thank you, I appreciate it. And thank it. you for coming to our thank show. Thank you for having me for real. It's and um, all eyes on me hits theaters on Friday. By Monday morning, your life is going to be different.